I would recommend that folks who are dabbling a little bit in this or learning about human rights for the first time as scientists recognize that they can merge three things. You know, they, they can merge their passion, um, they can merge their purpose, and they can merge their practice to do really great work. And I think it's really possible to meld all three um, and to do so quite seamlessly if you find opportunities to, to let that happen. And I think AAAS is one of those places. I think it's the only organization I've been a part of um, that I can think of that has brought together uh, so many different uh, scientific professional organizations around a table for regular meetings and discussion, long discussion, and conferences. Uh, to think about how uh, uh, we may work in an interdisciplinary way, even transdisciplinary at times, to uh, defend and advance human rights, but also to think about how our different uh, sciences understand human rights as well as the human in human rights. The coalition's richness is in bringing people from different associations and groups together and sharing what we're doing. And, and they're really small kernels of ideas that come forward you can take back. So I think it's having an impact across these organizations and it kind of goes out into the community. I have personally found that not all scientific spaces are open to these topics, to talking about these things or thinking about our role in contributing to human rights and social justice. I think the role of groups like this is to make it clear that this is okay, like this is what we're supposed to be doing. This is our responsibility actually to be doing this. And there's space even if you're trained in a scientific uh, discipline to think about your role in humanity as well. I think just um, over the years watching it from its very infancy to today is just seeing scientific associations realize that there is um, a connection between science and human rights and that they have a responsibility to address human rights even if they're a chemical society, a physics society, um, an engineering society, what have you, that they know that they have a responsibility, um, not just, it's, they have a responsibility to address human rights. Um, in some way or another. And I think a lot of societies, when I we first started, were very reluctant, or at least, there was a lot of people who would come here and they'd be very interested themselves, but their associations, leaderships, were always very apprehensive about, well, what does this mean? And we're not activists, you know, you'd hear that a lot. And I think we've gotten over a lot of that, um, that mentality that, oh, yeah, we're not going out and, you know, going to burn down blah, blah, blah to make some activist statement. We're just here to protect um, science and fellow scientists and to, um, and to take some actions that align with our principles and our organization's values. I'm really proud of what the Coalition and AAAS have done and all the member organizations. Um, it's come a long way, a long way. And um, I'm really impressed with the work it's done. It's educated a lot of people, a lot of associations, memberships and leaderships about the connection between science and human rights and reminding people um, that those two are not separate things. I just really enjoy being a part of this community and I'm excited to see what we will do with the next 10 years.